Well, the entire police services board has now been gutted and replaced. After one member of the board admitted he attended the convoy protest twice, he was one of three board members removed by the province last night. Here's CTV's Leah LaRock. Wellington Street looks almost normal again, but it is anything but behind closed doors at the city of Ottawa. Three members of the police services board resigning after one of them admitted to attending the convoy protest twice. Robert Zueda releasing a statement saying, I did nothing wrong. I never attended the protest after it was declared illegal and I never made donations. He also said he wanted to better understand the frustrations of protesters. But the board has now been completely gutted. The chair pushed out. All members have resigned in the last two weeks. I don't, I don't think it's a broken system, but obviously it was a broken board. Former Ottawa Police Chief Senator Vernon White says the system should work, but lacks strong leadership. Well, I'm a big believer in the police board, service board uh, process uh, if it runs right. So I think that governance piece is very important, but it, it requires a lot of uh, strong leadership at the, at the helm of the police service board to be able to do that. Some suggest there are much larger things at play here after the convoy protest. Public trust in institutions, whether that is city council, whether it's the police services board, the Ottawa police service, the provincial government, the federal government, non up the line, uh, has been severely compromised by the response to the occupation. In a statement, the province says it's important for the people of Ottawa to have confidence in their police governance and that this will bring fresh perspective as the board addresses recent events. And they say they will have more information in the coming days. The provincial Liberals say they have questions about the role of the Ford government in all of this. So there are a ton of questions that are there that I think are really important. The people of Ottawa deserve an answer. The people of downtown Ottawa suffered. The board is scheduled to meet again next on March 28th. Leela Rock, CTV News.